I need to go back. I need to go get Bruce. Bruce, my dear horse. My dear pony. I am going to mount you. Okay, that would have been weird. Anyway. Not one of the things that need to be said. Yeah. Is to mount something. Yeah. Ooh. I was wondering what I'd be getting, but now I know. The raw prime meat. I guess it's time to bolt. Oh, bug off. Did I hurt my horse? Probably did. Care, take care of him? I don't know. But I need energy somehow. Because I got really reckless. I better soothe my horse. This is a ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Anyway. Change? Ooh, that was really. Oops. curious if I can see Bruce from here. Actually, I don't need the branch. Actually, can Bruce come? Yeah, he can. Stay here, Bruce. I don't care. Whoa. Jeez. All right, so this way. Yeah, in order to, in order to achieve this, you're gonna be mindful of which way the flame is flying. So clearly, oh, I see it. Yep, this way. This is the way to do this. So I gotta be mindful of this. So if it starts heading in another direction, then at least I know to turn. That way, interesting. And your timing couldn't be any more poor, Selena. One thing I do not like about this, um, 
microphone is the fact that it picks up the slightest of noise, like this noise. This way? This is why you gotta take your time with this, because if anything, the the, the torches the torch definitely gives away what which way you're supposed to go. Evidently clear. You can clearly see what I'm doing. Oh. This one? Ignore that for now. Just occasionally stopping. I'm also getting kind of impatient too, so... Well, there we go. This way. Straight forward. Alright, I'm gonna let my dog out, so give me one moment, please. I'm sorry. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back from taking out my dog, and now let's see. Okay. This way. Kinda. I mean, it's pretty straight, it's pretty darn straightforward. I don't really need the torch, but I'm just going to do it anyway. And immediately a stark contrast. Let's see. Um, nothing. And nothing. Yeah, we'll just go with the bow. Just not this bow. That'll work. Korok Forest, that's what it, I was trying to say. Oh, it's the Master Sword. I don't even have enough life. Hold on. Oh, oh wait, that's... I was thinking someone else, something else entirely. Huh. You. Could it be? You're Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is here. The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you'd come. I think. Now then, the Korak trials await. Wait, you haven't even pulled, touched the sword yet. What are you waiting for? You've got to go to the sword first. I'll tell you all about the Korak trials so... Uh, once you've taken care of that. Sure. Okay. I mean, I've got literally a heart at a quarter. I'm more than likely gonna die, but anyway. Oh, okay, good. It's gonna go into a cutscene. It's just like, well then. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Whoa! That's some... What a flash. Uh, a flash, I mean, flashback. Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm. Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. 
Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. Jeez, I don't remember that. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. That uh, does not bode well with me, I'm afraid. Alright, I need to get the tone. If you hope to pull the sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. <gasps> Excuse me. Let us see whether or not you're currently... You currently possess said power. <sighs> I'm gonna say no. I re look at it and go, Not a chance in hell, buddy boy. I'm not gonna do that right now. Bye. Oh. That's a waste of time. Oh, that's just a... It's a... Oh, dear. It's a ladle. I should just... Oh, yeah, it is a, it's actually a ladle. <laughs> I really don't need it. How do I drop it? Oh, wait. I just chucked it. <laughs> Acorn. Okay, let's see. How do you turn it? Hmm. I mean, the thing is, though, this is actually dirt cheap. Except for this. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Oops. Okay. I mean, I got plenty of rupees, so it's all good. Let's see. Party truffle. And then there's these. I shall take all of them. I'm here to clean you guys out. Oh yeah, there's that's right, there's a hello, a bed. There's a bed. I never actually noticed that. See no vegetarians anywhere. Stop! That's my face. Ah. Sorry about that. I must have dozed off for a bit. Oh. Oh! You're Mr. Hero, aren't you? The Great Deco Tree told me all about you. All about you. So, you finally made it to our forest, huh? I've been waiting for so, for so long. I thought I might start to put, put down roots. Welcome to the Great Deco Tree's 
navel. I made a bed out of, the, of leaves just for you, Mr. Hero. Take as long as you'd like to you, with yawns and the Z's. Thank you. Ooh, now that's a now that's a that's a bit of a, a sassy thing right there, or sassy attitude right there. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, which way do I need to go? Oh, this way, I think. Yep. I need to go this way. Because the shrine's this way. See? The shrine. Hey, dude, it's been a long time. Let's go!